I know that the K20 Pro is way, way, way cheaper than the Samsung Note 9. It is kind of not fair to compare the two. But the processor and the camera on the K20 Pro is latest and newer than the Samsung Note 9. The Samsung Note 9 I am using also comes with the Nexonus processor, which is clearly not better than the Snapdragon 855. And it is also a last gen processor. So let's see how the K20 Pro fares against the Note 9 in low light photography. Hey everyone, Mukul here. As because the Note 10 is here now, we will soon see massive price drops on the Samsung Note 9, making it an even better investment when it comes to owning a flagship phone. I couldn't compare the phones in daylight because I got the K20 Pro at night, but anyway these days it is mostly about how good the ISO performance is of the camera phone sensors and if they have better details on the picture even if the light is low. As days are not nights and nights are not days. What? So in this first picture, the night modes were off and clearly the Note 9 took a brighter picture. But it is a bit hazy. Or maybe my hands were hazy. This second picture has been taken with night mode and the Note 9 picture surpasses the K20 Pro both in terms of light captured and details. Way to go Note 9. Oh yeah, I own the Note 9. Hey, <laughs> This picture on K20 Pro looks sharper but feels over processed. Also, I couldn't get rid of those glares on the K20 Pro even after wiping the lens several times. But yeah, overall, the K20 Pro has a slightly better picture here. This telephoto lens shot, trust me, I tried taking this picture several times with K20 Pro and it just couldn't match the quality and clarity against the Note 9. I mean, it shouldn't have performed this bad. Or maybe it just doesn't like vegetables. Well, I hope they fixed it in the updates. There is no ultrawide lens on the Note 9, but the K21 didn't perform great or anything in low light. The details are clearly hazy, the light captured is poor. It did remind me like one of those VGA cameras earlier. The quality is really that bad. So buying the K20 Pro just because of that ultrawide sensor isn't going to be a wise decision. I tried several macro shots indoors and every time the Note 9 was sharper and better. Look at that smile though. Isn't that a great smile? The portrait mode of rear cameras was bad of both actually. They both captured less light, but the Note 9 was actually able to focus much easily and hence got better details on the picture. This picture without the portrait mode also looked better on the Note 9. Marginally less light capture but way more details. And I always prefer details over less light captured as I can easily enhance that picture later on. In these shots too, the picture looked better and sharper on the Note 9 with more light captured on it. And when I took the same shot with night mode on, the results were kinda same with the K20 Pro sharpening the picture more and hence apparent noise on it. But the Note 9 in comparison looked softer. But on this picture, the case was totally different. Note 9 was sharper both in normal and night mode. Actually, way sharper than the K20 Pro. So yeah, clearly, an year old Note 9 still beats the brand new K20 Pro, which has a better processor and a newer lens when it comes to rear cam performance. Whoa, who the fuck? Oh, that's just me. My camera subjects are clearly scary as hell. So indoors with some artificial lighting, the Note 9 capture more details on the picture. So overall, as you can see, some varying results here. However, the story changes in super low light front camera performance. The K20 Pro has more pixels on its picture, hence more details, but in actuality, both the results are bad. Note 9 has more light captured, but yes, way softer than K20 Pro. Let's see some video samples now. Let me know how the stabilization is. If you can let me know. Of course you can let me know. You should let me know. The rear camera video is way more stable and glare free on the Note 9. I couldn't really figure out why the K20 Pro captured so much glare on its videos and pictures. This is how the video quality is from the front camera at full HD 30 FPS. On the screen it does feel like that the K20 Pro has uh, better video quality and this is my childhood friend Hello. since college because we, we are still kids let me know which one do you think is better the front camera of the K20 Pro has a wider lens, hence it captured more area. The video is more saturated than the Note 9 too. 
The video is also more brighter and sharper. But if you jog a lot whilst vlogging, then you would just love the stabilization of the front camera on the Note 9. Except for being super stable, the front camera in low light of the Note 9 isn't better than the K20 Pro. The slow-mo shots of both the phones captured way poor light and hence the footages were totally useless to compare. So what have we learned today kids? Even if the phone has a latest processor, a latest camera and is a newer phone, it doesn't mean that it can easily beat a last-gen flagship model from any of the brands out there. Now many would say that maybe their K20 Pro would have taken picture, better pictures than the Note 9 in these scenarios. But in my personal experience and usage, the results are right in front of you and they weren't really better at all. Admittedly, the price is still way lesser than the Note 9, but in many countries, the Note 9 price would be somewhere around the K20 Pro and a lot of people would think to importing the K20 Pro, seeing their prospects on it. So this comparison is kind of crucial when it comes to comparing these two phones, especially after one year of Samsung Note 9. The only consistent advantage the K20 Pro had was its video quality from the front camera. It consistently behaved and performed better than the Samsung Note 9. I wish I could have used the phone in daylight too and compare both the phones, but I strongly believe the results would have been almost the same. But well, this is what happens when you don't get the phones you want to review with the other phones which also you don't get. Wow, crappiest joke ever. Hit like and subscribe to the channel if you liked my efforts on the video. It helps me a lot in growing the channel. That's all for today. Or maybe I'll just shoot another video and then another video. Hmm. That's all for today. Mewbot out.